Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Love and Marriage Detroit. You guys know why you are here, and we are here because the ratings are in, you guys. Uh, the ratings are in, and it really should be a surprise to nobody. Uh, even without the lead-in of Love and Marriage Huntsville, uh, the ratings didn't really change. Uh, so episode one had 187,000 viewers, um, had, you know, the point, uh, zero six in the demo, and, uh, episode two only went up 2,000 views. <laughs> only went up 2,000 viewers, you guys, and the demo stayed the same. So, so this whole thing, oh, oh Love and Marriage Huntsville, it's going to lead in, it's going to bring in these numbers, it's going to have, no, 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 no. We're going to see if this uh, season can maintain this 187, 89,000 viewership. But uh, Carlos King, when I saw the interview that he did the other day, over hyping the season, over hyping, you know, that this is a really good season, that everybody loves the new couple, and, and that everything is authentic, and everybody's bringing their foundation of Christianity and all these things into the show, and all of these things, trying to make it sound like it was uh, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City or something. And I was like, Carlos, you are trying way too hard to oversell this show. You must have gotten the preliminary ratings for you to go this hard in the paint and pretend that this show is doing better than what it is. Can you make it make sense as to why we have to go around the same circles over and over and over again of the people being scammed, the people being lied to? You do the same format on every single show. You have all these women on all these shows looking absolutely crazy. You have, you prop up all these men on all these shows, uh, you know, and, and a few of them, like a few of them, a small percentage of them, out of most of them are decent. But the vast majority of them are problematic, you guys, are problematic and think this is their big moment on TV to embarrass their wives, embarrass their marriages, embarrass their families, and you get a key. Can you tell me why Carlos King said on the interview that he did the other day about the Bell Collective that's coming back in November, I believe, said that they had some type of event and basically Carlos King was staring at the cast and um, I believe it was uh, uh, um, Latrice and Glenn um, that, you know, was looking back at them or whatever and was saying, you know, are you really like proud of us or something along those lines? And Carlos King was beside himself. Carlos King, you know, was so geeked, was so happy and said, you guys are all stars and this is so amazing. And I can't believe this show is centered around a dark skin, um, full figured black woman woman and I was like what I was like what is happening I was like what is going on that this is the energy being presented and, and I'm like are we talking about the same bell collective where, where there's cheating where we had a whole season focus in on ABUSE allegations uh you are bringing in and, and I like um what's her face from bring it that's my girl I love um you know Sanjaya's mom from bring it Selena Selena shout, shout out to her um she potentially I'm assuming is going to be on this season maybe full-time Isabel and he's just all like, oh, yeah, people don't think people from Mississippi are, are, are like this and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, Carlos, you're do you're chewing too much. Now, I will say out of all of the shows on own that you have presented. The Bell Collective is miles above. But is that really saying a lot? Is that really saying anything when when we look at it, the grand scheme of things? Because ultimately, when it's all said and done, there's still problematic storylines, you guys. There's still problematic issues, right? But uh, I still need to know, you know, what happened to my people from season one, though. Because there were some people from season one that I low-key missed. Like, where is the dentist? <laughs> like, where's the dentist? That, that was one and done, right? But I say all that to say, are we trying to pin this show 
on the level of Love and Marriage Huntsville and on the level of Bell Collective just because of the simple fact that Carlos King is from Detroit. Are we doing this because of the simple fact the new couple is cool with Letitia and Marceau Scott? Are, are we overselling? Are we overhyping? Are any of you tuning in? Because it sounds like uh, only 2,000 more of you had interest based off of reviews, based off of Carlos King overhyping this. It, it didn't seem like it did enough to really move the needle uh, for people to drop everything that they're doing to tune into this. So, so can you make it make sense as to what, what the disconnect is as to how we're hyping up something, uh, that still is not moving the needle in the ratings is not making a difference is not making the impact that people think it is in the ratings. But, but you know, if you listen to Carlos King, he's going to tell you about some linear ratings in the millions. And, and, and what's so funny about this too is Carlos King had reposted in his stories a couple of days ago before this new episode aired about how a trailer, I believe, had over a million views, right? A trailer on Instagram for the upcoming episode. And I was like, okay. I was like, so is it the same 180,000 people who just replayed it over and over and over again? Or did it automatically, you know, get paid to be pushed out on your For You page for people to just automatically see it, to rack up the views? Like, how much of those views were, like, genuine views that you can't translate that to a million views for the episode? More people are tuning into the clips just to get the highlights or the lowlights of the episode. And, and, and then they're saying thanks, but no thanks. If you're getting a million views off of a trailer, how come that's not translating to Saturday night? And I don't want to hear college football as an excuse. I do not. Because you did heavy promotion, more promotion this season than you did for any of your other shows. You had a whole watch party, premiere party in Michigan. You, you are talking about the show left and right. In any interview, you are going on a whole dissertation about the show. So, so we can't say that it's not being promoted. It is being over promoted. It was at the point where it was being promoted so much that we didn't even know if Love and Marriage Huntsville was coming back. It was how much promotion this show is getting. However, the viewership is not translating to that. Can you make it make sense? So there's that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.